Hello there Pisces. Welcome to your September reading. So one of the first things that I'm feeling about you guys is um, I'm getting this sense that um, you have recently distanced yourself from a person, okay? And I feel like there's still somewhat of uh, memories, nostalgia, and things like that. And um, the person that you've distanced yourself from, there's this long-rooted sense of history between the two of you. And um, I feel like there's a sense of responsibility that is still, you know, connecting you both together. So I would say, like, it almost feels to me like there's this uh, cord of attachment situation still linking you up with other people, with the other person, via responsibilities, obligation, possibly children for some of you, uh, or possibly, like, uh, financial assets that you're still somewhat linked up with. Um... I almost feel like um, this sense of pity, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm feeling. And I don't use that word lightly, and I feel that that word can be misconstrued as, you know, condescending. When we pity somebody, we kind of look down upon their station and where they're at. So it, it feels to me like that's not a word that I like to use. But it seems almost as if one person, the other, you or the other person, uh, someone is really struggling financially. And I feel there's this sense of like obligation and pity coming from one person to the ne uh, the other. And as a result of it, you're still somewhat, you know, th this karmic cord of attachment that's still linking you both together uh, because of it. I also feel like there's this uh, maturation process. So sorry for the shuffling. Um, there's this maturation process that's happening in your life, and I feel like the, the maturation is like an emotional maturation process. It's about like, you know, being wiser with where we uh, give our energy and who we give our energy to, who we give our time to, and who we give our resources to. So I feel that financially for this month, honestly, um, it seems really stable for you guys. A lot of you are coming into a space of abundance, okay? And this is not going to apply to all, but I feel like um, some of you are in a very good space financially right now. And I feel as a result of it, you might have disposable income. You might be in a position to, you know, give your, uh, give help to other people. And you're a lot more discerning this month about where you're devoting your time, your energy, and your resources. So I feel like it's, it's the whole, you know, sobering up, the whole grow, growing up, like maturation process. When it comes to no longer being naive, uh, no longer, like, um, operating purely from the heart. I feel that you're coming into a space with, with a lot of discernment, with a lot of, like, um, awareness about, you know, what other people's intentions are. And I feel like you're not doing this in the, in the spirit of, like, you know, holding on to your resources or protecting your heart. I feel that a lot of you have overcome a lot, and you're realizing how, how strong you are. So it's not really about that. It's just about total discernment and maturation, okay? What I'm also feeling is, um, I feel some travel, some movement happening for you guys, um, and a lot of communication coming through from friends and loved ones. So I feel like on the romantic front, a lot of you are in a pretty good station right now. You might have some options. And that's why, you know, the whole process of discernment is coming through, where you're not going to just uh, hang out and go out and date and uh, with everybody. You are cutting back on the time that you're giving others and you're trying to find somebody who is worthy is what I feel of your time of your devotion and there's still a little bit of you know like um, treading lightly which is great I, and that's what I really like to see for you guys so I feel like uh, July might have been a little bit I'm sorry August last month August might have been a little bit of a difficult month, and it came out heavily in the reading. So I hope, like, a lot of you have overcome this and are now trying to, you know, move on from it. What I'm also sensing is I feel like somebody's trying to reach out to you. And just be very careful about this. They're giving, they're reaching out to you, and there's a sense of entitlement coming from their end, okay? It's sort of like, hey, you owe me, or I deserve this. And I feel like you're... A lot of you are, you're just, you have a really giving and forgiving heart. And whenever someone needs your help, if it's like, you know, within your limits, you definitely will offer your services and your um, and advice. And um, I feel like there's a sense of entitlement about this person where they feel that I'm just going to reach out and, 
you know, I'll, I'll get, I'll take what I can get. It's sort of like that energy, that sense of entitlement, that sense of like, hey, you owe me, you know, life owes me, the universe owes me. And um, uh, this is something you want to be very careful about, okay? If you're dealing with somebody like that, I feel that the best option is just not respond, okay? So because I feel like it's not going to lead anywhere, and I also feel that they've, um, I, I feel like you've dealt with this person multiple times, and they have always been like this. So there's no point in, re in engaging in that conversation because they're not going to change. It's going to make you frustrated. And I feel like you're just, you know, on different wavelengths. You're up here and they're down here. They're still trying to find themselves. They're still trying to understand, you know, law of attraction, uh, rules of the universe, the whole give and take balance. And I feel like they just have this innate sense of entitlement that people owe them. So I feel like the best thing to do is just not deal with, not engage in that conversation, don't even have that conversation to begin with, okay? Um, what I'm also sensing as well is um, there's some type of a ending to long-standing struggle and conflict. You're rebuilding your confidence for sure, I'm sensing that. And you're also like, I feel like freed from something, someone, whoever that was exerting a huge influence on you, you're finally freed from it. And I feel like you're crossing over to the next threshold, like you're crossing over this threshold to start a new phase in your life, okay? They're still straggling, like, you know, loose ends here and there, um, dealing with other people. But once again, just don't engage, okay? Just give them silence and move on with your life, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, last month when I mentioned that whole thing about um, getting out of a situation and then trying to figure out what's my next step. And I feel like a lot of you have gotten out of that situation and now you're trying to figure out your next step. And you're at a loss. I, I feel like you're just um, kind of deciding where to go. So you haven't really taken that first step yet. Um, others of you might have. And you're actually in a really good emotional space right now because you have taken that step to be independent, to be on your own. Um, the other ones, I feel like a small minority still are trying to like figure out, you know, um, have a clearer sense of direction. So I feel like uh, a lot of you are just like, should I do this? Should I do that? But at least you're thinking about it. And at least you're, you know, planning things out in a more practical, in a more logical manner. And um, I feel like other people are coming through for you. And I, I see three. Um, they're giving you some ideas. Here, you should do this. You should go here. Or you should, you know, link up this way. So I feel like they're giving you some information and you're having almost like a lot of information flooding your, your path and you're trying to weigh out the options. So you haven't made up your mind yet, but I feel like a lot of you have gotten out of, you know, whatever restrictive environment you were in and you're trying to decide on the next phase and you have some options coming through as to, you know, where to go, okay? So overall, it looks really good, Pisces. I'm glad that the energy cleared up from last month. I'm really, really happy to see that. So having said that, I'm a little bit behind on the shuffling. Um, let me see if there's anything else I'm feeling for you guys. A lot of you who might have met somebody uh, in August, you know, like a brand new person, okay, in August, if you have met somebody who is a brand new person, and I feel like there's something about um, foreign, you know, like I'm, I'm hearing the word foreign, so that might be somebody who is um, different from you in some way, okay, they, they might even be the same uh, racial, linguistic, ethnic, from the same group, but uh, they might just be very different from you in some way. And I feel like this is a, a person that does want a commitment, okay? They're trustworthy. And I feel like um, right now, you sense that when it comes to all of your social interactions and all the people that you're dealing with. I definitely feel that you want trust, you want devotion, you want faithfulness and commitment. Uh, in all of your friendships, in all of your interpersonal relationships. So you value that a great deal. And I feel like for a lot of you too, you are yourself very, very faithful, very, very uh, honest. And I feel overall just, you know, upfront. So I feel that you're attracting the right types of people in your life right now. And it looks really good, okay? 
I'm really happy to see everything has pretty much, I, I feel like things have really cleared up for you guys. And you're getting some clarity as to, you know, the next phase that you need to move things along and the next uh, step that you need to take. So emotionally, you're in a really good space right now. And I feel like, you know, last month, I believe I mentioned like reach out to families and things like that. So that's coming in for this month. Reach out to people that you consider your family. You might not know them, you know, for since childhood, but I feel like you know who you trust and you, you value that a lot more than flakiness and you know excitement and flakiness so I feel like your priorities are definitely shifting and as a result of it there's this massive energy shift that's happening I'm trying to avoid this area because of the glare so let's go into your reading okay so the first thing that's coming through here we do have some options that are made available to you but like I said I feel like the options are coming in but you haven't really decided yet and you haven't really made a choice so the four of cups usually uh, denotes um, a situation where we do have some options on our on the, our plate and we can decide how we want to go forward okay in some rare instances this is also telling me that it's it's like the definition from the facade dot com website and that i really like is uh... longing for the undefinable okay so there's this thing up here that you want and you feel like it's the holy grail and this is something that you really desire but i feel like first of all it hasn't really been well thought out it hasn't been formulated and i feel that you're still thinking about this and you're trying to decide how do i get there you know what do i do with these other options in order for me to achieve that holy grail in order for me to achieve that wish in order for me to have this one thing that i really want so the other definition of this card is boredom, ruminating, um, longing for something that you can't have or you know is not good for you, and rejecting the other options. So I feel like a lot of you might be dealing with a combination of all these three interpretations, which leads me to believe that you have some options and you're still trying to decide. You're not really budging just yet, and you're still trying to decide, you know, what's the next step? What do I do from here? And in the background, we do have this tree. And the trees, usually for me, they always indicate like a lot of wisdom because they've been around for a long time. I mean, it's an old tree. Um, wisdom through, you know, um, calmness, through tranquility, through meditation. So I feel that for a lot of you, um, you've come to a point where you are maturing. You're coming into um, across information and you're coming across situations that have made you mature, grow up, and that has you know provided you with a lot of wisdom and there's this inner sense of tranquility about you that I feel coming through for this month is that phase where you know it feels to me like acceptance you know it feels like I'm accepting that this is the situation that I'm dealing with and I'm trying to decide what to do next so I feel like that's the contemplative state that you're in it's linked up with the strength card and both of these combination denotes to me that you have some sort of a strong divine protection around you that's happening right now okay and I'm, I'm feeling a very strong like maternal influence so somebody that might be might have already crossed over and the thing about the strength card is it's very different from the emperor or the empress card or even the high priestess the strength card indicates like some type of divine protection from angels is what I'm seeing okay and I feel like somebody is like whispering in your ears giving you some type of spiritual advice and I feel they're doing that so that you can work up the courage in order to take these options okay so I feel like a lot of you want state uh, security and a lot of you want stability you want the path that is going to lead you exactly where to, to the thing that you want. And I feel like all these options are serving as like detours, you know. It's like the, um, the path to getting there should be linear, right? Like very straightforward, A to B. But all these little options involve a lot of little detours along the way. And you feel like if I were to go with option A, it's going to take me like five months. Option B, ten months, and so on. And I feel like you want the fastest route. That's what I'm sensing. And and your guides are telling you um, things in life happen for a reason. And it's not really so much about the destination. It's all about the learning process. So whatever route that you take, it's going to take you exactly where you are predestined to go. 
So it's just a matter of you like um, trusting that it's about the learning experience. Okay, it's about the experience of having that you're going to get along the journey of life. So I feel like you're thinking about this situation and you're getting some very strong divine messages coming through that's telling you to be patient and to be courageous as well. Take the step and they will guide you along the way so I feel like that's what's happening here and um, whatever you start now whatever you start now for this month I feel that things are going to start cu uh, culminating and coming to fruition and I do feel it's gonna emerge in about um, it's gonna like bear fruit or something like that possibly in about four months time that's gonna take us into September so like January of next year I feel like something emerging from this and it's going to be really uh, fruitful for you, okay? So there's an element here of four. So for example, if something is like, if you're ruminating over something and you're like, this one takes five months or five weeks, the other one takes four months or four weeks, go with that four months, four week option, okay? There's an element of four here that they really want you to keep an eye out for, all right? And I feel like they might be investment opportunities uh, for some of you. Others, it might just be options about like, you know, when do I start or um, uh like what's the salary cap there's an element here of four so keep an uh, eye out for that okay if that's coming through for you in terms of your communication we do have the three of pentacles and the princess of swords so I really like this card and I really like this combination together so let's talk about this card first the three of pentacles is about uh, discussions okay with collaboration discussions with other people and it's uh, working together with somebody a group of people or another individual to build something of value and this is a really good card which means that you are are um, I guess like in 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 the same path you know like everyone is cooperating and everyone is trying to work towards a common goal the princess of swords or the page of swords indicates to me like research communication back and forth the exchange of technical information okay both of these things indicate to me that I feel like for right now you're thinking about expanding something you're thinking about building something and I feel like it is career related and the pentacles card the pentacles are not filled in so they're not filled in in the way that other the other pentacles are in like the traditional rider weight deck it's usually filled in or is usually left empty okay so in this case it's sort of like you're trying to decide you know what do I need to do to boost my resume for example that's the three of pentacles what do I need to do to launch the next thing and what do I need to do like to make my money grow for me so you're consulting somebody on how to make something grow on how to do something on a practical level and coupled with the three of sword I'm sorry the page of swords this indicates to me some type of a research some type of preliminary you know uh, reading up on information studying something learning something getting technical details and at least like um, getting a lot of communication from other people getting advice counsel and things like that as well as to how you can expand something okay for others of you, you might be involved with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra in some capacity where you are both trying to work together to build something together. And you're a water sign, they are a um, an air sign. So I feel that they might push you um, to make a decision. I, I do sense that, okay? So in whatever capacity you're coming to them with or they're coming to you uh, in, I feel that you both are trying to build something together, trying to solidify something. And because they're more communicative, they might say, here's this option, here's that option, here's something else that I, I've thrown up. So these are all options. There's a lot of information that they're throwing your way. And I feel like you're, um, you're a kind of afraid to act. That's what I'm feeling. You're taking in all of the information that they're giving you and they're you're processing everything. You know, they might be like, let's go here, here, here. And it's a lot of options. And, you know, as a water sign, and I see this like with Scorpios and um, Pisces, especially Cancers are a little bit more like go with the flow, you know, like whatever you decide to do, that's fine. But with Scorpios and uh, Pisces, you're very deliberate with with like um, your decision 
So whatever, so I just want you to know that when you're dealing with this person, they suggest a lot of things, okay? And the things might not be practical. And don't take everything they're, that they're saying as a serious suggestion. You know, take everything with a grain of salt, I would say. And they just throw information, you know, suggestions out there. And they're going to give you a lot to think about. And it, it's not realistic to take everything that they say to heart. So, for example, if they're telling you, hey, this weekend, let's do these seven things. Pick the one that you want and don't overthink it. Just pick the one that you want and then go with that, okay? Because I feel like they're giving you a lot of information and you're overthinking it and you're like withdrawing because you're inundated with information. So, I feel like it doesn't have to be like that because I feel that they're they're a little bit more innocent, more childlike. So they're going to throw a lot of information your way and you don't need to, you know, take too long because these are just very, very minor decisions. That's what I'm sensing here. So don't uh, overthink it, okay? Don't be too slow to act is what I feel. In terms of your emotional state and... Um, once again, really good combinations. Um, we do have the King of Cups as well as the Ten of Cups. So let's talk about this situation first with the King of Cups. This is a situation in which I feel like you have mastery or you, you have like total mastery over your emotions, okay? This is like the culmination or the apex of that, you know, the, the cup suit where someone is really in control of how they feel. This indicates emotional balance, emotional stability, and also having that ability to um, know when you need to invest your emotions and know when to draw back your emotions. So this is like, ultimately, I feel like a lot of you have drawn boundaries, clear boundaries between yourself and other people. And I feel like right now you're in a really, really good state emotionally. So I'm really happy to see this card for you guys. We also have the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is basically total bliss, joy, emotional happiness, okay? And I feel like whatever you are dealing with for this month, or in the past, especially in August, um, other people's affairs, other things that are external to you, you're not letting them get to you. So I don't feel like you're easily swayed um, by other people and their emotional fluctuations, okay? You're very in control at this present moment. I feel this combination also indicates a lot of support, a lot of love coming in from family, friends, loved ones, and your environment. You're getting a lot of support. So I feel like whatever you step that you're planning to make, and you're just like, I need to decide on my future, on my career, on the next path in my life. Whatever you decide... Other people, especially the people that are around you, are going to be really supportive. So I feel like someone is like, they, they, you know, they see that you're trying to do this. So they're sending a lot of information your way to help you. So for example, if you might have been like um, building up your resume and you might have been job hunting. I feel like friends and family might randomly shoot you emails and they say, here's a job that I came across. You might be interested. So you're getting a lot of support. You're getting a lot of communication and you're getting a lot of good ideas from other people. But the thing is that sometimes they might, like, inundate you with too much information, too much attention, too much love. And it's like you don't really have enough time, you know, in the day to 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 touch bases with everyone. And I feel like right now you're, you're feeling okay. You're, you're in a really good space. So just tell them, hey, you know, I, I'm going to... I'm going to need some time to myself, so I'm going to need to to draw back a little bit and figure all of these things out so you guys are getting giving me too much information. So definitely say that if that's something that you feel, okay? Spending a little bit time of time alone, retreating from this, it's also good for you. So either way, I feel that emotionally you're in a very, very good space and there's a lot of love and support coming through from family members. A lot of you are in a situation where, you know, family members and, and um, the family unit, they might, might require something from you. I feel like you might come to see them. There might be family reunions. There might be a big celebration with family, like a get-together. Um, and they're celebrating you as well, is what I'm sensing, because the King of Cups is a, also a water sign, water element, okay? Um, for others of you, um, especially if you've had some type of past estrangement with your father, your own father, 
biological or you know uh, non-biological father if there has been some type of a, an estranged relationship from um, family members especially a father figure this is the month in which I feel like this person might say to you hey I'm really proud of you or you know they, they might try to mend that rift okay if that is the case I do feel that their their intentions are sincere like especially from a father figure so I feel like they're um, they have good intentions and they're trying to mend some type of a rift with you they might ask you to be around a little bit more to help them with certain things but I do feel that it's done in the spirit of love okay it's not like they're trying to take advantage of you or anything like that okay so I do see that coming through Others of you might be um, just, you know, have another water sign in your mist, an, um, a Pisces, another Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio. And I feel that this is somebody that you, you're getting a lot of emotional fulfillment for, from. And it can be family, it can be, you know, friendship, or it can be love. And I'm going to look into your love situation, but I feel like things are just overflowing this month. You're in a really good space emotionally. Now, in terms of travel movement, we do have the Two of Pentacles and the Chariot. So the Two of Pentacles indicates a situation where emotionally we're, we're balanced. We're actually in a very good space, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, you might be contemplating some financial options, okay? Such as investments, such as deciding between two jobs, or even like... Um, managing trying to um, manage two jobs okay like staying afloat working one job in the daytime one job at night struggling like um, ju I'm sorry juggling school life work life love life and work life balance okay all of these things are coming through and I do feel that you're doing it successfully and I feel like in the past you might not have had to you know it was always like relationships come first but I feel like this is a month in which relationships are important yes but career and you know practical um, career considerations are coming through as well so I feel like you're trying to get this personal life and professional life balance going for yourself and I feel like in the past it was more airing on the side of relationship and you end up giving too much and now you're pulling back your energy and you're juggling two things and you're trying to manage and you're doing so very successfully because we have the chariot as well, which indicates that working with these dis, um, disharmonious energies, the black horse and the white horse, harnessing disparate energies in order to go in the right direction, in order to like not be at cross purposes with yourself, in order to like uh, decide what you need to do. So it requires a lot of discipline. It requires a lot of self-awareness and a lot of knowledge and mastery over what it is that you're doing. So I feel a lot of success coming through for you. You might have two job offers that are on the table. You might have two options. One of them, <clears throat> one of them, I feel might be overseas, you know, going overseas by boat or by air. The other options might be by land. So you are deciding between two very different things. They both seem very good. And I, I, I don't feel like there's any, you know, um, anything that can go wrong, okay? Um, I'm going to pull out another card here because we do have here the Ten of Swords. So let give me just one second. Let me see what's going on here. And then I'll go into your spiritual advice. Something flipped over. Okay, so this the advice here, we do have the Ten of Swords, and I feel like this is something that's basically, when it shows up as, uh, as advice, it doesn't mean that it's going to come in for the month. This is basically showing up as confirmation for something that you should know and that you should be aware of, okay? So don't fret and don't worry too much. Now, the Ten of Swords basically indicates to you that, you know, something's done and over with. A phase of your life has ended. A new phase is begin. It's beginning. I'm, I'm sorry. So, I feel that for a lot of you, you're in a really good space right now because you've released some things, okay? You're no longer tied to it. And it's basically telling you that was actually a potentially very um, painful situation. You've left it behind. I feel that you're still thinking about it. And I feel like a lot of you might be tempted to go back. And it's pretty much, you know, clear cut. This was a really bad situation. You're away from it. There's distance between you and that situation. So move on with your life. A lot of you are still thinking about it. I do sense that. 
you're still trying to figure out like hey should I you know entertain that thought I, but I feel like it's more in the fantasy realm it's not I don't feel you taking steps to get yourself back here which I think is great okay and one of the things that's coming through to help you here is the ace of cups which is overflowing emotional contentment and love okay so you've got new love um, potentially that you have that have, have recently entered the picture and you might be trying to build something with another person and you're in a really good emotional space right now I feel like you're in a really good space and um, this is I'm really glad to see this for you so I pulled out two cards to clarify the ten of swords and I have the princess of pentacles as well as the eight of cups okay so a lot of you might have been uh, somehow involved with an earth sign person so this is a, a Taurus Vir Virgo Capricorn and this was potentially a painful situation it was problematic it was just um, something that was I feel like long-standing you know like it was a long long-standing thing and you might have like shifted between you know lovers and then friends and then seeing where everything goes but I feel this is the month in which you know that situation is coming to an end or it has ended in August okay um, this also denotes to me like job situation a lot of you might be shifting one job for the the other or you are deciding between two jobs and you have already decided and now you're trying to implement the next um, the next phase but you know there's always that mourning process when we have two options and choosing one options means negating the other one so I feel like there's that whole you know I wonder if I chose option B what life would be like so there's that sense of like still weighing out your options but knowing and, and being smart enough so that you're not gonna put yourself back here so I feel like you're in a really good space right now Pisces I'm I'm really happy to see this I feel like the same thing happened with Sagittarius where you know the August reading was um, a little bit problematic but they got over it like they 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 pushed on ahead and things are okay especially for this month so the energy is very similar between um, you and Sagittarius so I'm going to go into your love reading and um, you are the first sign that I am implementing this new spread with. So let's just see how it goes, okay? Let's just see how it goes. So we're going to pull out some cards here. Um, I'm going to do your overall energy and then the bottom is going to be sort of like a, a spread that I device and it, it's, um, it's more like a mirror spread. So we're going to try it and see how it goes. So that's the overall energy, that's the challenge. And then we're going to go into more of the mirror spread. You've got a lot of reversals. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll see how it goes, okay? And if I need to pull out more cards, I'll do that. So the overall energy here is the Two of Pentacles. This is basically juggling two options, juggling multiple things, okay? Or being in a, a state of emotional flux, so like emotional ups and down, and dealing with somebody who might have been like just... um emotionally unbalanced okay so I feel like this is a situation you were contending with where you didn't have that sense of security that firm footing in a relationship so I feel like right now a lot of you might have shifted between um, you know from one relationship ended something and then starting over and it, I feel like it, it might have been a, a really long-standing relationship where it served as your foundation so it seems almost as if you have to begin from scratch and to rebuild your foundation and I feel like for some of you you might be in a situation where um, you're dating people and you have some options coming through and you're trying to hedge your bets you're trying to gauge you know potential for each individual options so I feel like the time that you are devoting to um, relationships you're gonna have to cut back a little bit and you're gonna have to learn like better time management when it comes to finding that work life and that personal life balance okay and also personal space as well as like um, partnership space finding that balance is going to be really important for you 
I feel that a lot of you are, um, we have in the challenge position, we have here the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands indicates a very, very nurturing, very mother-like energy. It's um, You could be potentially dealing with someone with children. You yourself could be dealing with children, and I feel like that is becoming a little bit of an obstacle, hindering your ability to date and your ability to fully invest in situations, okay? So there might be a lot of responsibilities overall as a couple, as a unit, or even as a single parent or even as a single person dealing with uh, liking somebody who might have children so I definitely feel like some type of a situation where you're trying to navigate the water okay I also feel in the challenge position the um, this is like <clears throat> this is a very very flirtatious person is what I'm feeling they're very caring very loving and they do give their power away a lot okay they're they're like overly caring overly mothering overly nurturing so just be mindful about this energy if you see it exhibiting or it coming from you where you feel like you're like overly protective of another person and they might say like hey you know I need a lot more space you're not giving me enough space I feel like once you get yourself emotionally invested in another person you start to see see them as an extension of yourself and especially like uh, if you care about them you start to overstep your boundaries and you start to like treat them you know like um, like they need protection so just be very careful about um, respecting somebody else's freedom of choice and not to overstep their boundaries okay like you want to help yes but unless they ask for it then try to hold back a little bit or you can ask them hey if you need help I'm willing to help you out but I feel like you need to really clearly maintain these boundaries okay um, this is also a card about um, like uh, passion and excitement and you know like I feel like putting in the effort in order to build and to foster a new relationship this little plant here is something that is emerging, it's new, it's delicate, and I feel like a lot of you are trying to find time to do this with a new relationship, okay? So the first two things here, they mirror one another. We do have the world card, and the world card basically indicates a situation where we have like kind of sequestered ourselves into our little cocoon, and I feel like it might be with... Um, a lot of you might have recently left new like an old relationship you've sailed on from troubled water you're trying to like find yourself and you're trying to like uh, look at other options that are available to you and a lot of you might have been really really busy on the work front and you're not giving yourself that freedom of movement to flow and to really move out and about and I do feel that this is the month in which you're breaking out from your shell you're moving past old energy you're sailing past it and you're overcoming it and you're going to be able to break out of your shell okay what came in in the past here is um, we have the nine of cups as well as the six of cups the six of cups in the reverse position is looking back at a past relationship a past person that is trying to reemerge in our lives and seeing it for what it is okay this is like the whole you know no longer being naive no longer seeing somebody and putting somebody on a pedestal and especially no longer falling for false promises so looking at a situation from the past and not seeing all the good and ignoring the bad is being it's seeing that the past relationship it was actually a lot more painful and a lot more problematic than we would like to believe so i feel like a lot of you you have you know sequestered yourself and um, I feel like you came into the point where you are able to process your feelings. You're able to process past events. And you are coming to the conclusion that, hey, it actually wasn't even all that great. And it usually denotes to me a blast from the past that might have been problematic, that might have been a very negative experience. And I feel like you're going to get some type of communication from that. And I feel a lot of you are just not going to respond. You're just going to give them the silent treatment and you're just going to move on with your life, okay? Because we have here the Nine of Cups showing up in the reverse, which basically means that it can't... The do-over is not going to happen. You're not going to get a second chance, and you're not going to be able to fix this situation because, realistically, it's no longer meant on your path. It was like, it could have even been a soulmate connection that was in your life for a very, very brief snippet of time. There were important, valuable information and lessons to be learned from that, but they're not meant for you forever, okay? So I feel like a lot of you are coming to the realization that, Yes, that's the case, and yes, you're moving on.
The other two things that are coming through, you've got two wish cards, both in the reverse, and the, all of this is happening in the past. So I feel like a lot of you have let stuff go. So I'm, I'm really happy. Um, we have the star as well, which is to, the star indicates our life path, our purpose, our higher calling. When the star is in the reverse position, it basically means that somebody is not walking on the same path with us. Somebody is not wanting the same things. They don't want to build. And, you know, it, it's a card about vision and healing as well. So I feel like there's still some pain, residual healing that needs to take place from the past. But you are realizing that, you know, you're, you're sailing past it. And I do feel that... Um, Sometime this month, especially in the middle of the month, you're going to be in a really good space emotionally, okay? If you're not even there yet, I feel like a lot of you have turned over a new leaf starting the beginning of the month or even the end of August. If you That hasn't happened yet. When you get the communication from that person from the past, it's going to trigger, you know, those um, dormant feelings. And then you're going to be like, oh, I, I knew it. And you're going to move on, okay? So there's no looking back here. There's it, This light is like pretty much the end of an error. So I feel like you're starting to realize that um, the, re the relationship was very restricted. It also lacked passion. And it also lacked like a common purpose. It's mirrored with the Four of Cups, which is a card about releasing something, okay? Releasing something, letting things go. And I feel like there is a situation that you devoted a lot of energy in. It, it didn't bring you any type of um, reward. And you're moving on. And I feel like you're actually really happy to be able to move on from this. Because we have the Two Wish card in the reverse position. And we have you shifting moving on uh, out, like physically removing yourself from an environment that was no longer growth inducing, okay? What I'm also sensing is, um, I feel honestly for some of you, you were in a very, very restricted um, relationship, restrictive relationship. So someone um, kind of like took you away from all your friends, from your support system, from your network. And now you're basically, you have left that behind and you're coming through and you are trying to like um, widen your, your social circle or to, you know, reconnect with people again in your support system. I feel there's an element here of potentially, you have two options, like um, in terms of, you know, romantic partners and things like that. And I feel like there might be a um, family family, like mothers especially, has a huge influence into who you choose to be your romantic partner. So that can be good or bad. You might have like a mom who's very, very domineering, very, very controlling. And you might get into a relationship with someone who is controlling. Um, it was a comfortable relationship because, you know, it, it triggered that, that sense of security. But it was innately very controlling. So I feel like that's what's happening here. So... What do you have in terms of advice? Okay. So the first thing that I'm sensing here is this, okay? They're basically telling you in terms of spiritual advice not to make a move, not to decide on anything for this month. So once again, we have the Four of Cups coming in, meaning you have a lot of options on the table as to, you know, do I go with this person, that person, etc. If you are in a committed relationship, it's more like, you know, do we do this, do we do that as a couple? And I do feel that it's telling you to basically take some more time for reflection, for introspection, because all the information is not there just yet, okay? And I also feel like if you're dealing with, like, possibly severing ties, deciding, you know, like, um, we're no longer in a happy, committed relationship. Should we move on or should we, like, um, come back together? You know, like, if you're, like, in a struggling, straggling relationship, it's basically telling you not to make a move just yet. I feel like you might want to break things off with another person, but they're telling you not to do anything just yet because the energy is not supportive for new things. Mercury in retrograde... Uh, it starts on August 30th and it's going to continue until September 22nd. So don't make a move. Wait until after that time period, okay? So if you are involved with an air sign with this Four of Swords here, it's saying not to make a move. This is somebody that is sincere. They've got their heart out 
and they're they're ready for that offer they're waiting on you you have options you have like multiple options that are, are, are currently in your environment and you're trying to decide okay and you I feel like a lot of you are still longing for something out there that these options are not meeting just yet so like all of your criteria are not being currently met in any of these options so you're still trying to decide you're still trying to figure out what to do but I do sense that they're telling you to wait until the last week of the month okay if you are dealing with a fire sign we have fire sign here which is somebody who might be a little bit jealous and controlling okay they're, they're very passionate but generally a little bit jealous a little bit controlling we have a fire sign um, Sagittarius Aries and Leo and um, they're showing up in the reverse position this might be somebody that you have children with once again this might be like um, somebody that you're dealing with where they're kind of like a little bit unreliable they're here today gone tomorrow there is some type of a conflict coming through between you and this person there might be a little bit of a stalemate because it's linked up here with the seven of swords which is about sneaking around sneaky behavior trying to decide you know like knowing um, that there's something that is going on behind the scenes but not having all the information just yet so I feel this is an energy that is coming through for some of you and you're trying to reassess the situation you might be in a position where you know you might want to break things off but you feel like you should give this person the benefit of the doubt Others of you are seriously just deciding, you know, I, I really want to play the field and um, I, I feel like that's what I really want to do and that's what I'm going to do, but I have this one relationship partner or this one person that is really, really into me, so I don't know how to break it to them gently. Um, or you might be in a position where you're just like, you know, trying to do both, trying to manage both, like have one person on the side that you know really cares about you because I feel like you've got somebody who really cares about you here, okay? They wear their heart on their sleeves and I feel like they do want to build a future with you. They're waiting on you. They're waiting on a decision from you and I feel like you might at this point be thinking about do I want a relationship or do I want to play the field and there's nothing wrong with either of those options. You know, it is what it is but I feel like if you are, you, you might want to be honest because we do have Mercury Retrograde. It's not a good time to rock the boat. It's not a good time to test and see what we can get away with. Okay, so be careful. So that's what I feel coming through. And I do sense like this energy is very pervasive um, throughout the rest of this month. But they're telling you not to make a decision until the end of the month. Okay. Um, be upfront and, and be honest. And I do feel that someone from the past, you know, you, you've been in a deep-rooted relationship and I feel like it left a bitter taste in your mouth. And right now, you might be in a state where you, you do believe in love and you want that great grand love, but you're a little bit jaded. That's what I feel like emotionally and um, relationship-wise. You might be a little bit jaded, okay? And a lot of you are thinking about your financial situation right now, where you want to be, and you want to provide that good life for your romantic partner. So I feel like there are some type of financial considerations creating interference in a relationship, especially for those of you who are coupled, okay? And I feel like children from your end, from their end, or, you know, mutually from both ends that are also being brought into the mix, okay? So, um, Pisces, I hope the reading has been helpful, so I'm going to try to see about this spread. It might change next month, but I'm just going to do a, a few signs and see how I resonate with it. I like it so far. So, um... I hope you enjoy the reading, and if you'd like a private reading with me, please visit my website where you can view my availability and book an appointment for yourself. Now, I set up the website for that purpose so that everything is streamlined and efficient. I'm really big on efficiency. So, you know, the, all the information is on there. If you visit the website, you can easily book an appointment, and everything is automated. You will get confirmation emails. I get a copy of the confirmation email, so there's no, you know, confusion about time difference and things like that because the website does convert time for for you as well okay so if you like a reading please book a reading through my website um i've also included a link for the donation for my channel all right so if you use that link i really appreciate that um i wish you all the best and i'll be back for the mid-month reading take care of yourself and best of luck with everything bye-bye